Guys, what's going on? Waco from Revolution here, here in Singapore, but with a guest that has traveled from overseas, Christine Hooter, the CEO of Morris Grossman. Christine, how are you? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here in Singapore and to meet you. Well, thank you. And I believe you said the last time that you were here was two years ago, is that correct? Yeah, it already it was two years ago in February 2020. And after COVID came also to Europe and it was not possible to travel anymore. So we are really, I'm happy, I'm pleased that I can meet you today <laughs> and we can introduce our new timepiece here. Well, I think that's kind of the uplifting thing that we're all experiencing now. I think we all kind of see really the end of the pandemic for the first time. Yeah. And in particular, people are able to travel. And that's great because the watch we would like to talk about today is a watch related to travel, right? Yes, it is. So it's an incredibly special world premiere that we have here, the Universal Zeit, uh, or Universal Time by Morris Grotzman. And this is a watch that I find to be extremely fascinating and incredibly innovative. And I'll explain a little bit why, and then I would like to ask you some questions, Christine, if you don't mind. That's okay. So, you know, Universal Time watches are interesting to me because they're usually configured in one of two ways. Either you have a GMT watch, which is a watch that has uh, indication for local time and then home time or a second time zone. And then you have the type of watch which was created by Louis Cotier back in the day, which is called a world time watch. And that watch usually gives you a reading for the 24 zones in the world as represented by 24 cities as well. And a lot of times what you'll see is that that's shown on the perimeter in terms of a 24 hour disc, which coordinates with a different city uh, zones that are also on the bezel or sometimes in the disc as well. And then a lot of times you'll have a map in the center of the watch to tell you that this is a watch about the entire world. But what I've never seen is an indication of time that integrates the indications into the map itself. And that's what I love about Universal Zeit. It's so incredibly intuitive and it's so brilliantly easy to read. So before we look at the watch, please tell us what the inspiration for this was. The inspiration came up because we, we already made a GMT and uh, then we said we, perhaps we should work on a world timer. But uh, Moritz Grossman mostly we think difference in our way of development and we thought okay we have to, to do something which didn't exist before and then our, our development uh, manager he really had the idea perhaps to integrate digital time zones in a window into the map and uh, it was not easy <laughs> so <laughs> to really to work on the disk like a configurator and it should really fit at least to the time windows and we wanted to show a little bit from America to Asia or to Japan different time zones so but at least it worked out and uh, we can introduce now uh, our universal site. So guys what you're looking at is a watch that depicts the world on this wonderful yes. map on the dial beautifully rendered um, and then at the exact positions where you have six different cities in the world, mm -hmm. you have a little aperture, and in the aperture you have a digital representation of the hour in that city. Yes. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that, and what, that's what's so cool about this watch. But what you don't see is underlying this disc is one single disc. That means all of the numbers for each of the cities in every position on the map itself have to align specifically so that each time it turns, they're all advancing by one hour, is that correct? Yes. That's correct. And when you see the disc uh, by itself, it looks like, like you know, the like work of... Like figures are dancing, numbers are dancing precisely. on the disc. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, like, you know, some sort of genius mathematician has created some, like, the, like a new Fibonacci sequence or something like that. But that's, I think, that's what's extraordinary about that. And I love that there's this wonderful sense of functional innovation uh, at Morris Grossman where you don't want to do things the same way, but you want to also bring some new advantage, some new legibility, yes. some new intuitiveness to the watches that you create. And that's exactly what uh, the universal Zeit is. Would you agree? Yes. It's what we do. Exactly. And so uh, we have this watch here. It's going to be launched tomorrow, I think, in Europe. But we have it here in Singapore yes. because uh, we are here to celebrate a partnership with Sincere Watch. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we are happy because we started already last year with Sincere Fine Watches. And uh, we have a very good relationship. So we thought it's really a pleasure for us to be here because Sincere is a, a very important retailer 
in Singapore, and Cynthia has also, they understand the passion, and with all the customers and collectors, they are behind uh, them, they really can bring forward our passion and craftsmanship of watchmaking to the customer. So we are really pleased now to be here and to use the day before we do the big introduction in, uh, from Germany worldwide, that we can introduce the special piece here in Singapore. That's fantastic. And I, you know, I would agree with Christine. One of the things I love about Sincere Watch is they've always championed authentic horology. Yes. Uh, they've always tried to find the best watchmakers or watch brands in the world and champion them and communicate them to the entire culture here in our yeah. region. Uh, and that's certainly the case with Morris Grotzman and with the Universal Zeit. So Christine, let, let me discuss a little bit about how you use this watch because not only is it really easy to read, but it's actually pretty easy to use as well, even though it might look intimidating to begin yeah. with, right? It's also what we look that we, we would like, we wanted to make a system which is really user friendly. So at first you really have to set the time in the windows. So now we are in Singapore, so we should set the window of the watch to 12 o'clock, or right. it's now yeah, 12 30. Past right. 12 30. Right. And then you can set the minutes and the seconds. And we also say in the watch is integrated our pusher system. And afterwards it's very easy because we have a special a second crown at 10 o'clock. And it's, uh, if it's in the center, it's locked, but you can unlock the crown to the left and to the right side. And if you push the crown, you can separately set the hour hand backward and forward, and it jumps for each hour. So if the time is set at once and you travel, and it's like you come to Europe, you have to go seven hours back. So you only unlock and you push seven times the, the crown at 10 o'clock and you have the European time or the Geneva or Zurich time yes. in Switzerland or German time <laughs> and you can lock it again and all the windows all over the world fits to your time. Well, so you have the overview in one view from really Asia, from Singapore to America. That's amazing. So guys, you know, it's so easy to use. I was playing with it earlier. So what you do is the first thing you want to do is ensure that the digital display inside of the city that you're in, like Singapore, for example, which is displayed here, is accurate, right? So what you do is you pull the crown out and you turn the watch over until you see 12 represented in, in the, the city uh, aperture for Singapore. Uh, then you press this button, special push system created by Morris Grossman, to lock the crown back into place and then you can turn it and nothing will happen to it. So now we're going to move the hands if, as if we were traveling. So if you got into a plane and you went to Geneva, for example, you would want to turn the crown this way. And if you were to look at it this way, it would be counterclockwise, right? And then you would press it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and now you would have an accurate reading for the time in any place in Europe like Geneva or Paris while all the apertures have not changed and they're accurately representing the time in those individual cities. So that's why it's so intuitive to use. Great watch. Yeah, it's yeah. good. And the crown you can lock again, yes. so nothing can happen if you were So now I'm putting it into the neutral position, so even if I press it, nothing can happen. So that means it's locked in place. So it's a super easy watch to use, really secure. I mean, absolutely brilliant to use, stunning watch, 44.5 mm. And also what you have when you get a Morris Grotman watch is also one of the most beautiful movements in the world as well, right? Thank you very much. And so if you look here, of course, made in German silver or my shore, as they say in French, uh, and you see uh, this beautiful uh, three-quarter plate, you see this incredible engraved balance cock, you see this big balance wheel. And it's actually stunning to behold. And also one of my favorite details is, of course, the engraved escapement uh, cock as well, which is something I've always loved. This snailing that's on the uh, barrel, incidentally, I went and saw them doing it at the manufacturer. It's beautifully done and it's done by hand, right? So the watch is in steel. Uh, it's a 44.5, which adds to the visibility. And actually, the price for such an incredible innovation, to me, is pretty reasonable. It's 76,500 Singapore dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So bravo on that. Thank you as well, Christine. Christine, last question I would have for you now is, I mean, independent watchmaking is more successful than ever. I know Moritz Grossman is so popular now, and everyone uh, would like to have one of your watches. How are you? keeping up with all the demand. Yeah, we are looking forward. We are happy that uh, the request for our watches worldwide is increasing. And uh, now we, we really increase step by step our production. We cannot double the production because we really work with a high craftsmanship in a traditional way. 
and uh, but step by step we will follow our target. So I, I've had great. the pleasure to visit the manufacturer and if you guys ever get to Glasuta you should visit it. Um, maybe your friends at Sincere Watch can explain to you how you might uh, request for an appointment. Uh, but it's stunning. It's, it's a contemporary building built into Glasuta into the side of a hill and you can see there that truly everything, especially in movement innovation, movement finishing, movement assembly, um, all of these incredibly important crafts are done beautifully and in-house at, at, at Morris Grossman. So it's really one of the gems of watchmaking. And if you guys haven't been there, you should make the trip out, especially now that we can fly again. And you can take your uh, universal Zeit <laughs> with you as well <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> until the time. Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you. Pleasure it was a pleasure you. to be here. Pleasure's really. mine. Thank you.